welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to make fake beef stew. And yes, I put the fake in there so nobody will ask me later if I made the chimp eat beef. Isn't that good? Yeah, I like it. It's great. Mm. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a China concocted recipe. She came up with this all on her own and it is something we all live for. So. Which is why we're making a giant pot. So we're going to get started with this. What is this, Alicia? I'm going to <laughs> You're gonna what? <laughs> I don't know, it's ekama something. It's a jicama. This is a jicama. It's a, like a tubular root from South America. It is crunchier than a potato, which is why I like to add it to the stew. It actually soaks up the juices, stays a little bit crunchy, doesn't get all mushy like potato soup. You can use potatoes too. I have done that in the past. Don't mind Molly, he's just snacking. <laughs> always, always snacking. Here you go, Molly. I got your little one. You can play with that one when I'm cutting the big one. How would you like me to cut these tomatoes? Those are. <laughs> I mean, onions. How do you want to cut the onions? Hey, I think that you can get somebody to do it for you. Uh, excuse me, is Dark Mantle in the house? Could you please come help me cut onions, please? Molly eating those, you can eat them raw, I just choose not to. We're gonna do my little cute cut on the, across the top where you can just cut straight down. You get that one layer across the top, you go back over that layer crosswise, and you have this whole hunk of onion, and then you can just cut the pieces in strips, and the whole onion comes out chunked. It makes a far less labor and a really rapid cut. Slightly uh, dangerous for the slice. You have to pay attention that little bit. Yeah, I tried this the other day and sliced my finger. <laughs> Knife skills are great to have in the kitchen. We'll do a second one that same way. So we're gonna show you, here we are, we're going down. Just making the slices all the way down. You're going about 80% of the way through the onion. Turning it sideways, you get 80% through again cutting down about every half an inch to a quarter inch, and then just thin slicing off this edge. You can see as you thin slice off the edge, everything comes out already chopped up. It makes really quick work of a couple of onions. Put those onions in the top. Yeah, do it. Good boy. All the way at the top. Keep going. All the way. Scrape, scrape, scrape it. Scrape, scrape, scrape that way. one too. He's too busy looking for snacks. Oh look, you found another one. Oh, uh, onion in my eye. Oh, I'm dying again. It's fine. There you go. Oh, wow, Molly, wow. chasing an onion. What about the jicama? Here, you can have all of these jicamas. into like celery just uh, here like this uh, like that? this uh, a little bit smaller than that smaller than that okay because I like to use celery to flavor the stew I don't really want to eat celery <laughs> <laughs> celery is a great flavor all kinds of recipes they put it in a Waldorf salad they put it in Mm, that's awesome. Pasta salad, they put it in pasta sauce. Now I know why I have such a hard time cutting. It's because I'm short. Now on my tippy toes, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> I am caveman. I cut like this. Caveman. <laughs> Here it sits, right? Your Don't put your on. foot in, Mama. This is sharp, uh -huh. right? And, you're, and you can run away, you can run forward with it. You see how you're cutting like you're using a rock and grinding corn with it. This is a sharp knife. All the pieces of celery are already cut up. You were grinding away at it. Scrape it away. Okay, oh. let me help you. Oh, oh, it's going on the ground. Scrape it good. Yeah, get the rest. Yeah, get the rest. Good boy. Keep going. Oh, you gave up? You're so involved in your own jicama, you don't want to do anything with our jicama? There you go. Good boy. It's all on the table, but that's okay. It's a clean table. We're just going to throw it in the steam. 
<laughs> He's chowing on that jicama. You want this still? Oh yeah. I thought this was the chopping board. <laughs> he gave me the plate. Good boy. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, no, you skip some. He's like, that's enough. I've had enough. I've done it. Oh, got some treats. In case you're wondering, I'm salvaging the jicama that Volley was eating so we can add it to the stew. It is hard to find. You can actually find jicama in Miami better than you can find it in Myrtle Beach. I'm focusing on cutting the tomatoes, not with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Put the jicama. Oh, oh, excuse you. For all of those that keep asking if Bali farts or burps, you just got a burp. Good. Yeah, good boy. You're so funny. Keep going. <laughs> I'll help you. There we go. Hop over. Good boy. I already got the water in the pot. Just gotta sit that on there. You wanna push the button? Re-choose this one. Push it. Good boy! Okay, now push that. Good boy! Now it's gonna go. In case you guys are wondering, again, this is an induction oven, which means the only place that this oven is hot is underneath that pot. Hey, come on. Oh, oh, you turned it off! I need that! I'm gonna add some of these tomatoes because I need more room on the cutting board. All right, put those tomatoes in the pot. Oh, oh that there's, that's a pit. Good. That's also a pit. It, it happens. Keep <laughs> the right side. Oh, keep going. Yeah, you're getting good at this. Look how good you are. That's a good boy. All right, it's time to start just throwing things in the pot. I like to start with the kale because it's big and fluffy. <laughs> Did you see that snatch? It's big and fluffy. Did he snatch He got it, yeah. It's big and fluffy, and it takes up a lot of room, but if you put it in first, and then put everything else on top of it, it kind of weighs it down. I'm trying to <laughs> Grabbing the beef. This is Gardein beef, Szechuan beef tips. They're delicious. They're a little bit breaded, but the breading goes away inside the stew. You wanna pull that packet out of here that we don't eat? Yeah, thanks. I think I need knife lessons for my birthday. <laughs> like knife fighting lessons? No, I'm working on it. It's shwing. Or like culinary shwing. school. Okay, get that shwing. one out of there. Shwing. Good boy. Now that I got that all settled, I'm gonna start adding some spices. Where's the garlic? Oh, here it is. Lots of garlic. In case you guys didn't know, we're a household of garlic eaters. I'm gonna add chili powder. I have heard that chili powder tastes really good on jicama. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> nope. Next, we got some cumin. This is my favorite spice to cook with, just in case you guys are wondering. I'm gonna put a whole lot of that in there, so we're just gonna take the tap off. Sorry, so kind of tomatoes. <laughs> Takes a lot of tomatoes. My swing is getting better. Then we have ground thyme. Rosemary. I love rosemary. This stuff is delicious. A lot of tomatoes. A little bit of salt. And. Better than bouillon, made with vegetables. We're gonna stick a lot of this in there too. Take a spoon out. I'll put it in there. Oh, good boy. <laughs> he really wanted to eat that. Shit. Coming in for some more tomatoes. Okay, here you go. I'll let you have that afterwards. Scrape. Keep on going. Boy, look good how good job. you are. All right, I'm just gonna wipe some of this off. Don't be alarmed, guys, it's just salty. There you go, kid. 
Now we have to go fill the pot with water. We're gonna add water. Good job. We're just gonna fill that up. Put your fingers in it. We're almost done. You're almost done. You want the water? Is that what you're telling me? Mm. Can't come in with the last on my toes. Come on in. Go, buddy, go. Go, buddy, go. Good job. Good job, kid. Good job. So we're going to turn that off. Ugh. Go over here. Come on over here. Good boy. All right. No. Okay. That one right there. Get. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Now we want to turn it up. Turn this one on. Good. Now we have to turn it up. All right, guys. Now we're going to leave this to get to a boil. Once it hits a boil, then we're going to simmer it down for about eight hours and then we will come back and finish it up is that right yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. all right you want to check that yeah we gotta stick a fork in it to see if it's done <laughs> oh i'm way done <laughs> yeah all right all right go ahead i'm all, like over here making noises for molly <laughs> That's just our life. Don't blame it on Bali. <laughs> you just make noises. All right. All right, we're gonna pat down the jicama so it starts soaking up some of the juices. And this is going to cook, like I said, for the next eight hours. Um, simmer. You gotta put a lid on it. Yeah, put a lid on it, China. <laughs> this lid doesn't actually fit, so you're just gonna have to balance it properly. Molly, stop judging me. I got it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll see you in eight hours. Eight hours later. All right, Molly. This has been cooking for several hours now. I'm gonna take that side off. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> now we're gonna take some of this juice out and put it in the blender. And we're gonna add well, just, just the juice. juice. Do you want me to do it? I mean, probably. Okay. Oh, this is so interesting. Isn't it? It's funny. Why are we doing this? Um, because if you put the flour directly into the pot, the flour doesn't dissipate well and you get little dumplings. But if you do it like this, then in there. It'll all go creamy. All I right. Thought, I thought we liked the dumplings. Or was that a different recipe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something else. Okay. <laughs> That's okay though. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that one day. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now that we got that done, we're gonna go over here to the blender. Hey, monkey, come with me. All right. We're gonna add this yeast. This is nutritional yeast. It's a very, very good. It's kind of like a different source of cheese if you guys are not eating cheese or dairy. We're gonna add a lot of that. Perfect. You wanna scoop some flour? Ooh, don't throw it. Yeah. Good boy, put it back out. Good job, put it in there. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, now we gotta put the lid on. Good job. Good job. Ugh. All right, push the power. Good job! Yeah. All right, let's take yeah, this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the release. Good job! All right, come back over here. We're gonna pour this in. Get back over here! Woo! All right, we're gonna pour this in here. 
Usually what I like to do is pour it to one side because I get some more juice and do it again. Repeat. This is what's gonna make the stew all creamy and thick. All right, all right, Molly. One more round. Round two. Ha. All right. Let's get our flour back. There we go. Oh, this one. Nope, this part. Good job. That's good. Now we're gonna put this back up here. Power. Yeah, okay, blend. Blend it, oh, We crushed it. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. Now push power. That's a good boy. All right, release it. Yeah, yeah, release it, up here. Release it. Yay. Good job. I'm gonna take that off. We're gonna dump it back into the pot. One more round, one more round, done. All right, we're just gonna pour this back into this. Do you need a spoon? Yeah, I'll give that monkey his spoon. Go, 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 go. Stir your soup. Stir it, stir it. Woo, woo. All right, so we're just gonna stir this up. We're gonna let it simmer for about 20 more minutes and then it's all done. And you know what that means? Chicken dinner live! Taste this! Mmm. Wanna try it? Oh! Oh, that was good. So good. Oh, that was good. I'm coming! Alright! Mm. Hey, hey, we got chimps. We got dinner. Oh, first mouthful in for Sugriva the chimp. And Bali the chimp's gonna knock some back. He's like, eh, I'm not sure. Is it hot? Nothing. He thinks it's hot. Hey, 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 put that bag in there. What was that? Sit. Get on your seat, you silly chunky monkey. Sit. Bali and Sugriva the chimp oh. brothers. Bali's there on the right with the darker face. He's almost nine. Sugriva's eight. <coughs> 140 pounds, 110 pounds, and they've got a little brother who is Ungata the Chimp. He's over here having his dinner, which is a banana inside of a big old feeding pacifier there. What a cool trick that is. These guys are eating the famous China beef stew. Now, uh, it's got bound basmati rice in it, but the beef stew is a complex concoction that China makes. You can come and meet the Chimp Brothers. You can come and hold on God and meet these two Chimp Brothers. It's MyrtleBeachSafari.com. Have this Ooh, incredible experience with those guys. Oh, we good stuff. Hungry tonight. Do they shed? They don't shed any more than a person. They, they lose very little hair. It's less. super tough hair, huh? It's less than a person. Less than a person, you think? Less than me. Yeah. Less than me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I might find as much China hair as Bali hair. I don't know if it's really stuck on a couch or something. Probably not. <laughs> this is all fresh made rice. Every single day, we make fresh brown basmati rice. China makes that, or China's <laughs> staff whip that stuff up. Older, Polly's older, Sabrina's is far bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now hold them on with that hand. I'm slapping with that hand because Dave's killer friend is coming in. Sliced and diced by Alicia and Tiger's land. Silly chimpanzee. I'm so happy. Uh, not all chimps' faces always darken, but chimps that are going to darken do have darkening faces. They think that they're ready for more. Bali, you don't want anything else? Sugriva does. I saw the dancing pants there. What's going on? What's that? You want this? Hey, Cousin Daddy. What do we got today? We got a frozen lemon. We got a frozen orange. orange. We got, ooh, pomegranate sorbet. And lemonade. Lemonade sorbet. Ready for chimpanzees. They say, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Whoa, look at that, look at that. That is some fine, fancy, fruity chimpanzee dessert right there. Mm. What's better than that, huh? We've been working with these guys since they were about a year old. You know, they were little guys that we met. They moved in with us and they've been hanging out ever since.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you try out the stew. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye.